what do you think is this a man a woman or a child no it matters because then accordingly this nipple will matter and if the nipple is a problem then google facebook or instagram will have a problem and if this person who is painted also has a problem then welcome to a world of more such high definition blurs <laughs> a high definition blur <laughs> a digital paradox an oxymoronic tease but i'm sure you don't have a problem so i thought i'll ask the artist tara kelton why did she choose to paint this why does it exist i mean a digital image does not exist that's why by physically painting it it's now an object an oil painting it exists now something digital just became real okay <laughs> sorry i didn't mean to complicate this i'll explain so tara is taking a walk digitally in new york city using google street view while she is physically present in bengaluru india from her desk she enters a gallery in new york that seems interesting she walks around <laughs> looking at the artworks and finds this portrait she does not know whose face it is because it's blurred by the legal team at google <laughs> to you know protect the face owner's identity obviously that's in public domain she finds this very peculiar wouldn't you i know what you're thinking technology is now so good it almost has consciousness not only can it recognize a face and blur it it can tell if it's your face yeah you the art history plus subscriber watching this video on your phone or laptop scrolling through instagram shopping online dreaming of your next vacation <laughs> anything but that's the thing it's also pretty ridiculous that a machine is applying a blanket blur on all faces it can't recognize the difference between a painting and a real person it can't take a chance a chance to offend somebody a human being at the core of it this blur represents a fear that large corporations like google have of being sued by individuals an individual but what makes an individual a face a portrait you see the value of art now at least the value of your own face quick question if you take a photograph of someone in the street does it belong to you or them the contents of your photograph exist out in the world anyway you only perform the act of capturing so who is the actual author of this work in 2020 ironically you never walk alone you always leave behind an invisible trail of data points we're all performers in the matrix we construct create and perform a version of ourselves online every minute of the day through our pictures locations purchases likes and dislikes and now even emoticons in a manner it is a commentary on the use of data and how much it governs our lives you think you are in control but in fact you are a stealthy performer in the invisible architecture of the algorithm <laughs> The guy whose face this is has no idea by the way that this has now become art. If he stands in front of it, it will be him in his natural body watching his algorithmic body in a portrait. He'd barely be able to recognize himself if he needs to prove that this is him. Would he claim authorship of the face even though none of us really play a real part in creating our own faces? Or would he bring evidence that it was in fact his face that was painted or the portrait in this gallery so did google do the right thing by blurring this face i don't know let me know perhaps we could say the theme of this painting is the artist tara kelton herself her act of navigating through a complex algorithmic landscape to find a high definition blur on the face of an unknown unrecognizable man far far away 
and more importantly why it matters so what does all this mean for history documentation and remembering will you need memory after this if everything is being recorded and reproduced elsewhere by someone else what else will you stop needing your nose your elbow your prefrontal cortex think about that so then what are you really looking at when you look at this painting the high definition blur or the invisible story of why it exists which of the two is the artwork perhaps its true meaning lies in the act of its existence please subscribe to art history plus for more videos on art please do like comment and share this video online obviously ha <laughs>